we were definitely right seven years ago when we when we took took this seriously as something that wasn't science fiction because a whole bunch of the things that some of the real skeptics then thought would maybe never happen have already happened and also we've learned a very interesting thing about how it's happening because even as recently as seven years ago you could definitely have argued that in order to get this performance that we have now where you can just for example ask for a picture of a an armchair that looks like an avocado and then get something as cool as what Dali drew, made or or have those logical reasoning things from palm maybe for one of the reader for the listeners who haven't read through the nerd paper we could just mention an example so there's this text oh i'm gonna go to this mountain with the faces on it and uh what is the capital of the state to the east of the state that that's in and it gives the correct answer right and back even as recently as seven years ago i think a lot of ai researchers would have said that that's impossible to do unless you have built, developed some fundamental new breakthroughs in, in logic-based systems, having some super, really clever sort of internal knowledge representation or you, that you would really need to build a lot of new tools. And instead, what we've seen is it wasn't actually necessary. It's just turned out that when you just kept adding more and more data and more and more compute, it became able to do all of these sorts of things. And frankly, this is, to me, <laughs> to me, the worst case scenario we're on right now, the one I had hoped wouldn't happen. I had hoped that it was going to be harder to get here, so it would take longer, so we would have more time to do some AI safety. And I also hoped that uh, the way we would ultimately get here would be a way where we had more insight into how the system actually worked, so that we could trust it more because we understood it. And instead, what we're faced with is these humongous black boxes, you know, with, 200 billion knobs on them and magically does this stuff. A very poor understanding of how it works. And it turned out to be easy enough to do it now that every every company and everyone and, and their uncle is doing their own and, and there's a lot of money to be made. And it's a sort of, it's hard to envision a situation where we would just as a species decide to stop for a little bit and, and figure out how to make them safe.